Hey Scorpio, welcome to your December 2018 love reading. Um, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. A couple more shuffles here. Hello. Cards, cards everywhere. I was just thinking about this card. This funny it came up. This could be you, Scorpio. Um, hmm. You know, it's funny. I, I kid you not. I was sitting there thinking about right before I showed you this, I was thinking about self-sabotage and how the tower could represent that. Like how it could be an inside job, so to speak. So, and then here it is. Interesting. Okay. Um, so aside from that, Scorpio, this could be you thinking about a recent upset um, in your love life. It could be that you've had a, an epiphany or a realization about your love life. You've got the Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, also called Rods in this deck. The Nine of Rods, okay, wow. Four Rods or Wands. Three of Cups reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Queen of Swords, Ten of Rods reversed. Good Lord. So we've had a major upset, major epiphany, something that has definitely upended everything. There's been an upheaval. Okay, so first part of the month we got fighting, um, standing your ground, being defensive, and thinking about walking away because it's just too messy. It's just this water is just too choppy, it's too heated. Um, Maybe you've called in outside help, either friends or wise counsel, someone that you trust to help you navigate through these emotional waters to get to clear water. Um, this could be leaving the relationship altogether or at least, and you know, someone's helping you do that. Maybe they're helping you move. Um, but it probably, well, not probably. It could also be, and there's going to be a lot of it could be because this is a general reading, um, that... You know, it's funny, it doesn't feel like it's over because there's fighting and there's defensiveness and standing your ground, but it's still salvageable. At least maybe you're not ready to leave yet. So this is more about transition or trying to get to find like a, a resolution or a healthy resolution than it is leaving. It's like you're trying to find a way still. Um, and then we come to the middle of the month and we've still got... So it's kind of lessened from this outright fighting to kind of bickering and I don't want to say, you know, I mean this, <laughs> it's still kind of this intense, but it's, it's not dangerous like this. Like there's stormy clouds there, they're gnashing their teeth. This is kind of playful and families around, but it's still, it's still intense. There still might be conflict. Okay. Um, and this is maybe your sense of it is, is that There could be a third party situation. Something is coming between you and your love. Okay. Um, this again is for the month of December. So this is the middle part of the month. Okay. So this could be you knowing because this is also about using your intuition. So this could be you suspecting and knowing that a third party situation is going on. Just not having had it verified yet. Um, but you find out <laughs> possibly and um, there's an epiphany. You find out there's discovery. This is being very clear-headed and decisive about what comes up. This is this could be finding out the truth. This could be investigating. Okay, so you suspect probably that there's a third-party situation or that somebody is doing something outside of the relationship. This could be porn, gambling, drugs. I mean, it's something that gets in the way of a connected, committed relationship. So we've still got the, this is like play fighting. This is fighting. This is outright fighting, arguing. This is kind of like bickering and, hmm, let's clarify that please. Because it just, it looks a bit too friendly and kind of for something like this. Like this is like, okay, someone's cheating and you're going to sit there and be 
bashful and silly and flirt and you know because this is like kind of like flirting and playful competition this is outright fighting I think the advice here is to seek the truth or to find out as much as you can like to find out the truth and then make your decisions based on that not on emotions also because all right I want to clarify this five of wands please Damn it. Clarify the three of cups. And I say damn it because this could be somebody that's also cheating. Um, this could be somebody that's moody, emotionally manipulative. Um, could be like really charismatic and romantic one minute and then cold the next. They're kind of unrealistic about, like they kind of, there's someone that kind of needs the high in the relationship. It could be someone you know, extending their emotions and then pulling them back. Like there's no movement forward because they're playing emotional games. That's what I'm trying to say. So that could be why there's fighting also. Um, it could be that this is fighting just like this over here. They just, I don't, didn't have two seven of wands, but um, both of these represent fighting. This is about competition, bringing out the best in its participants. This is about persevering and standing your ground and fighting for what you believe in. So you know, conflict, fighting, hmm, because possibly someone might be a bit needy or a bit possessive or a bit unrealistic and jealous, and then come to find out there is this affair probably happening, and the advice is to find out as much as you can. Maybe this is saying cut it off. Maybe this is saying have that conversation, like what is going on. We come to the last part of the month, and this this is okay so this is about forward movement this is a passionate outcry in this instant and it could be that you go and basically tell all your friends and i say that laughing because this night um kind of represents the energy leading up to <clears throat> battle or movement so they kind of go and rally support before Versus the Knight of Swords, it's kind of just like a solitary and it's not really well thought out. This one is, got, this is all about gathering momentum and the energy preceding a movement as well as the movement itself. And we've got friends helping here, okay? So it could be that you find this out, you discover this, you, you know, you learn the truth and then it's like a battle cry, like, oh, it's on. <laughs> and you're kind of feeling pretty emboldened and like you're you know righteous about it because this is wrong right um it could be that you're I, I i get friends very strongly here for the scorpios i'm reading for i get that you um you were rallying your friends around you hmm. okay and this basically is showing that you so basically you're fighting they cheat and you're like, I'm out and you go and tell all your friends, you know, this is a battle cry to all your friends to rally around you. And this is somebody, this is a solitary person that likes being solitary. This is someone that has a lot to offer, but would rather be single at this time because they like taking care of their own stuff like backyard you know what I mean like they they like taking care of they are they can make enough money by themselves they can take care of their own needs they have enough of that but they also like taking care of those around them like theirs and their own so they their heart their I was gonna say their harvest their house um they have a very like inviting home for anybody that needs it they're very nurturing in the sense that they can provide for anyone and anything and they like doing it but it's a solo act they feel very secure and that's enough for them this suggests scorpio that you find out and you're just like are you serious and you go and tell all your friends and there's this forward motion of movement and you're like i'm out of here i just want to take care of me and my own and myself and the burden is now lifted we are no longer fighting because i have found out the truth Whereas before I was thinking about leaving, I just didn't know. Now you went and cheated on me and I'm not putting up with that. And now I'm just, I'm dumping everything. I don't want, I don't want this burden anymore. 
It's just, it's too much work, too much fighting, too much, too much, too much, too much of a burden. All right, so what's unexpected for Scorpio? Unexpected. Unexpected for Scorpio. Two cards. Just so you know, I'm going to pull two cards to see if there's any unexpected things coming your way for the month of December, Scorpio. Page of Cups. So this person might try to um, talk to you. They might try to like, you know, once the dust settles, they might try to talk to you. This could also be a new love interest. <laughs> page of Cups and Page of Pentacles. Let's see. Hold on a minute. I want to see what that two pages is. Two pages are, not is, um, Disquiet. So things in upheaval, well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so we could have, this also too is about, this is about studying, learning, taking the time to think, slow and careful approach to something. So this is, this could be them reaching out, right? With um, wanting to talk about what happened um, maybe even, you know, letting you very much know that they're, or letting you know that they're very much still interested. They still love you, loving messages. And this could be you taking the time to think things over and to just not quite sure what you're going to do yet. You're in the thinking stage. You're in the studying stage. Okay. Just saying. All right. So let's pull. So I got three more cards. Scorpio. The start of something new. Okay. All right. So it looks like this <laughs> so far looks like you're going off on your own and you're quite, you are going to be just fine. You're going to have everything that you need. Emotionally, you might be kind of you know, up and down because of what happened. But as far as being able to take care of yourself or live on your own on a daily basis, you will be just fine. Again, this is for man, men or women. This isn't, you know, just because it's a queen, it doesn't mean like, oh, you know, this is about a woman and then somebody cheated on her and the poor thing. No, this could be man or woman. thinking things over, um, just a self-awareness, like kind of putting the pieces together, just, but that awareness that just contemplating things in hopes to bring awareness and you're at the crossroads in the sense that the choices you make can either make you feel discouraged about your life or can bring hope or encouragement. So it's like, it, it, this is pivotal right here. And this also is thinking things over. So it's kind of doubling down on that, thinking things over. The start of something new is doubling down on that over there. Um, what am I missing? This one, yes, this one. Okay, last one, Scorpio. Last one for Scorpio. Divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What's your heart's true desire? Again, with the thinking, with the thinking that this is probably them reaching out or maybe there's a new interest for you, but either way, you're going to be thinking over whatever messages about love come in, whether it's from a new person that you've been thinking about or this other person here. But again, with the thinking, be honest with yourself. What do you really want? Well, you've got all the time in the world to think about it because it's not like you need to be anywhere. You can you're just fine on your own, so you get to take the time to think, think, think. All right, so Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, I mean, it's probably not ideal, but I, I just really like that because God forbid, sometimes it's so horrible, but you hear about people that have to stay because they just can't move out and the situation is really bad and it's like they're treated unkindly because 
they can be, I don't know. It just, I'm really glad to see that you can leave if you want to, you know, it's, yeah, that's ideal. I mean, not ideal, but it's okay. Shutting up. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So you take all the time you need to, to think, um, cause you're certainly going to be okay by yourself. Nice, secure position for you. Um, all right, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope it made sense. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh my. Anyway, uh, I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care.